You're in the rant wormhole where I rant about whatever my $15 a month plus patrons ask me to rant about. Today's rant is from Anime Watcher who says, Rant about people misunderstanding slash fearing postmodernism. Uh, yeah, I don't get this thing. Like, I understand... Uh, I don't know. It seems like such weird fear-mongering bullshit. The people who are afraid of postmodernism in particular. Because um, postmodernism is basically... I guess I would just consider it an ideology. Um, it's just sort of the idea that you can create art for any reason or for any purpose or, or even for no purpose. You know, it could just kind of be generated by um, by your just desire to express something and that, like, trying to say what is or isn't art is pointless. Like... I think a lot of people, they get angry when they see, like, the, the toilet in the museum and they're like, oh, you can't call this art. And it's like, that's kind of the point. Kind of the point is that, like, what you can or can or can't call art is is up in the air. It's, it's very much up to the individual to decide. And so, like, when they put a toilet inside of an art museum and call it art, like, the point is just to start that conversation. It's not to say that you now have to believe that this is art it's saying that like you know w like we're saying it is who are you to disagree like why why like who cares whether it is or isn't art ultimately um you know we're saying it is and you're saying it's not and nobody can be correct in this situation because you know language is defined by essentially a group of people deciding that they agree on a definition of something and if we can't agree on what is or isn't art then it's undefined, and you know, or you could say it's it's got different definitions depending on what language you speak. But because those languages are so close to each other, it's a bunch of people speaking English. But the only difference is that art means something different, you know. So like, you have to explain your version of the word every single time you talk about it. And I think that's what annoys people about it. I think people are just annoyed that they cannot properly define what is art without somebody jumping down their throat about it because people want to have standards people want to hold themselves up to certain standards of living especially in such a standardized society as we have where people go to school and they take standardized tests and they learn you know like the same things and like there's this idea that there are central things we all need to understand and be on the same page about in order to progress as a society, you know? And I think that um, a lot of people view postmodernism as, like, a conspiracy to to shut down values, like, to say that, like, oh, there are no significant values because, um, you know, because everything is subjective. And, like, uh... I don't know, there's, like, a lot of weird arguments for, like, why postmodernism is holding us all down, like, but basically they're all just arguing that we need to create an objective standard, and then it always becomes a question of, well, okay, who gets to decide? Like, who gets to say what is objectively good? We're not gonna come to a consensus on this, you know? Like, you can look at what the consensus is, um, like, like, let's say you go to my anime list, and, like, the highest scored anime is Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, which means the most commonly held opinion amongst people who watch the show is that it is very good, you know? But, like, that still doesn't... It's not, like, scored that way because a bunch of people gave it a 10 and a bunch of other people gave it a 9, and it's right in between the two. It's scored that way because a whole fuckload of people gave it a 10 and a whole fuckload of people gave it any other score in between, you know? So, like... It's, it's not something where you can say that there's no group that would be alienated by just saying Fullmetal Alchemist is a good show, you know? Um, like, you are necessarily drawing lines in the sand about who is right about what when you make those kind of claims. So, like, the purpose of postmodernism is basically just to break all that down and just say, fuck it, it doesn't matter. Like, just create because you feel the need to create and people can respond because they feel the need to respond and we don't need to call this art we don't need to call it a movement we don't need to declare every single thing about it we don't need to label it it can just happen you know and um and be taken on its own merits uh by whoever decide you know merits are in the eye of the beholder so 
I think that's sort of the basis, the basic foundation of thinking behind postmodern art. And I think that it's it's often thought of as the, the result of World War II because of the fact that, like, you can't... In, in the face of mutually assured destruction of nuclear power, you like, no one is ever able to just declare themselves right anymore. Like, there used to be a time when a country would, you know, invade another country by just declaring themselves to be morally correct in doing so and coming up with a justification and then, uh, you know, attacking. Or religions would do this. And, you know, in, any institution that has come at another one on the basis of, like, we are morally correct and they are morally wrong, um, when really who's going to win in the conflict comes down to who's bigger. So you just get enough people together and tell them that they are right to take out uh, a nation that's smaller, and now you own that nation, you know? And, like, whether what you've done is right or wrong in the long run is entirely in the eyes of the people who, uh, you know, and how happy they feel along the way. So, you know, that's, uh, what is that, cultural imperialism or whatever? So, like, when... I'm trying to reel back here what the fuck I'm talking about. I'm talking about postmodernism, and somehow I've gotten into World War II. Right, because when you have mutually assured destruction, it means that it's no longer possible to just threaten the other side or to just take them over and just say, you now agree with us. You know, like, this is objectively what's right. Like, the entire world was embroiled in an ideological battle between two superpowers about, like, how society should be run with like exact opposite ideologies and neither one of them can do anything about it they're in this like weird smoke and mirrors threat game this cold war over like uh trying to you know take over and like at the end of the day for you as a spectator to that it's like well there's no battle for me to fight for righteousness anymore like there is no argument to be made because there's no there's no victory you know, in any of this. Like, who who's going to decide what's right for the most people? There's nothing that works for everybody. Um, so, like, setting any rules in place, it always just feels arbitrary. It's like, yes, we can come to agreements about what the most people resonate with. And we can, like, draw up, like, rules, but not, like, laws, necessarily, of, of, of art. And just say, like, here's what makes sense, here's what we know works... But this doesn't define anything. There's no objective standard here because as soon as you start trying to create one, there's always going to be some weird outlier, you know? You're always going to get something like Napoleon Dynamite, which, like, literally broke IMDb's um, recommendations ability for a very long time. Like, the algorithm that they use to recommend people movies, uh, like... Because Napoleon Dynamite is so polarizing and, like, whether or not you like it has nothing to do with anything, basically. Like, as far as they could tell in their algorithm, like, what type of people liked it, there was no consistency behind it. Like, what, what you know, whether people did or didn't like it. So, there was nothing to compare it to. There was no way to say if this movie is good or bad, or that if you will like it or dislike it, you just have to watch it yourself. That movie is postmodern as fuck, you know? I think it's kind of the epitome of what we're talking about here. Just, like, just proof that, like, this thing can be a cultural phenomenon and can you even argue whether it's good or not? It has obvious things that are good about it that you'd have to, like, you'd have to be a bad critic not to recognize, but also things that are bad about it that you'd have to be a bad critic not to recognize, and you just have to come to a conclusion for yourself how you feel and write on that basis. You can't come up with an objective metric to try to hold it to because it's not going to work. Someone else is going to say, that doesn't fit my metric. So um, postmodernism is the way to go.